The internet. What's it good for? Porn and shopping, mostly. Could you harness its power to bring people from all over the world together to do something creative? This is the story of a girl who tried to do just that, who tried to make a movie online. This is the story of how she went from a bedroom webcam to a glamorous West End premiere. This is the story of how Bryony made a zombie movie. So who is this girl? Online, she's known as Paper Lilies. In real life, she's called Bryony Matthewman. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say. She wanted to use the net to make a zombie movie. She had no script, no crew, no budget, and no actors. She thought she could find all of these online. But who exactly is this Bryony? Uh, the first video I made on YouTube was made for my friend who was kind of depressed at the time and I was singing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme tune. After that I made some more videos where I was trying to kind of be the English face on YouTube. I said no, no, no. What? It's a pocket in it. Then I made a video uh, where I was pretending I wanted sarcasm to be banned because it was confusing and it doesn't make any sense. Sarcasm does not belong on YouTube. Then I became known as the stupid sarcasm girl. Her Paper Lilies channel had over 15 million views. Newspapers like the Sunday Times, the Telegraph and even the Daily Star sat up and took notice. She'd conquered YouTube, so what was next? She released this video on her unsuspecting YouTube public. I got bitten on the arm by this like guy that was like, kind of asleep. I thought, well, I thought he was asleep. So then, you know, I was thinking maybe this guy was a zombie. Then I was thinking about zombie movies in general. And I was thinking, I could do that. Actually, we could have the entire online community make a film together. We could have people plot the film, have people do special effects all over the place, and then we'd edit the whole thing together and make one coherent movie that was created from people all over the world. So I really want to do this, but I can't do it on my own. I need you guys' help. The internet went proper mental. The video attracted hundreds of thousands of views. By the way, anyone who sent Bryony a get well message, she's fine. It's make-believe. Bryony set up a forum where people could post plot suggestions, volunteer their services and audition for parts. And to make things spicy, she set herself a deadline of finishing by Halloween just four months away. We asked professional filmmakers what they thought. Here's Ben Grass, the producer of Hammer Horror's first film for bloody ages. <laughs> It begins now. What did he think of the internet zombie movie? I admire the ambition of it. And, you know, I think that it's very exciting doing what she's doing because it, it is new and it's, um, it's very creative. Obviously, she's going to face a number of challenges. The first one is just simply that the time frame that she's attempting to get this done in is, is incredibly tight. We also talked to Kieran Parker, the man behind British breakout horror hit Outpost. The, the idea of uh, you know a, a movie full stop being made by sort of contributors across the world is a fantastic idea. The, the biggest problem they're going to face first and foremost is obviously communication. I think with the uh, you know with guys writing it from various parts of the globe. I think that's going to be the biggest problem um, that I'll face first and foremost. He seemed very positive until we told him about Bryony's Halloween deadline. Three and a half months. Am I allowed to swear? Yes. She's fucking crazy. Bryony laughed in the face of the professionals and threw herself into the world of zombies to find out all she could.
she hooked up online with the organizers of World Zombie Day. That's them going for a quiet pint. Uh, today is the zombie walk. It seems like it's too good an opportunity to pass up. The reason I'm dressed like this is because I'm going to be a newsreader character and I'm kind of reporting. This is the microphone that I made last night. Uh, nice foam <laughs> puff, whatever that's called. But yeah, the idea is that then I'm going to get bitten and I'm going to be a zombie. Hi! But without a cameraman or director, filming was harder than Bryony thought. Do you want to pretend to be a cameraman? Can do. Yes. Just to have the camera. Like for the, for the... Well, actually, I need to find someone else to film that. Okay. First. Okay. Do you want to film? Hey, get out of it, guys! Unfortunately, the prop microphone she worked so hard on was shit. But here it is, the first scene. The forum was becoming the web's top spot for zombie lovers and wannabe filmmakers. A core team of writers was assembling online. Just who were they? From America, Mark. And my online handle is Denton USA. Shane and Kent. Hello, this is Shane Devon and Kent Blue. Meg. Hey, BBC, what's up? Uh, my name's Megan. Alexis. My name is Alexis. Um, I am. Um... Helping write the script for an internet zombie movie. Speak up, girl. Mitch, who looks nothing like the stereotypical internet geek. My name's Mitchell. On the forums, I go by the username VNFL Cards. From the UK, Alec. Hi, I'm Alec. I'm known on the forums as AGGH or ARG. Fusilier and his magic purple stick. Hey guys, it's Fusilier here from the Internet Zombie Movie. And from Norway via Scotland, Magnolos. <laughs> there were plenty of other contributors, but I can't be asked to list them. The forums exploded with love and excitement. I'm excited by massive zombie moviness. Let's call it Z-Day. Hey peoples, my name's Pablo Chicasso. Woot woot and all that. This is gonna be huge! None of the writers had ever met in real life before, and living all over the world, they were forced to use video conferencing technology in order to write the script. <laughs> ah, I'm Nick. Um, I'm Fusilier, and I'm around London, but no real important. I'm Alex. I live in Kurt Cobain's home state. So what was the story they came up with? Kids have been dressing up like zombies and going around biting people in public. And they've been filming it on their camera phones and uploading it to the internet. It's like happy slapping, but it's called, like, I don't know, zombie biting. The government are kind of really upset and concerned about this and they want to kind of stop kids from doing this kind of thing. Uh, YouTube take the videos down that people upload because it's just promoting violence. And... You know, the news are just kind of like, oh, ridiculous kids kind of keep doing this. And it's a disturbing new trend that children keep doing. Of course, little do they know, but there are actual real zombies. So that's the backstory. Here are the main characters. Ben, a 20-something internet geek who's in love with his best friend, Abby. A feisty art student who's just got engaged. Unfortunately for Ben, to Ethan, who's a bit of a dick. Bits of dialogue for each character were posted online and budding actors were invited to audition. Here are a few of our favourites. Hi, I'm auditioning for the role of Ben, who is 25 and lives in London. Um, my name is Ben, I'm 25 and I live near London. I thought that the part of Ben would be wearing a beanie and, I mean, would have facial hair because he's lazy. You cook for shit. Sorry for barging in on you like this. Me and Ethan had a fight. Ethan and I had a fight, but I just wanted to get out of there for a while. Hey, sir. Can I have some more? He got this really posh job offer, and he decided we should get married. And some of the writers even auditioned. Fight! <laughs> well, you, you look no worse for wear. 